Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Geeksar Us. Today I'm going to attempt something I've never attempted before, but a speed clean. So I'm giving myself about 40 minutes to clean my disaster of a kitchen. My house is an absolute disaster. I've had a really, really insanely busy couple of weeks and I haven't cleaned like literally at all. Like thank goodness Nelson cleans too, but I personally have barely cleaned. Um, and so my kitchen is a disaster. Check this out. Oh my gosh. It is a mess. I've been doing a lot of cooking. <laughs> this is embarrassing. So today we are going to do a speed clean. It is now 1222. I want to see how much I can get done by 1 p.m. So let's do this. <laughs> of the big bits and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give it a beautiful spray down with this which is the home star range hood and kitchen degreaser I have been using this religiously whenever my stovetop looks like this because I have been an absolute slob and those are just like burnt bits guys um, and I haven't had time to clean so I have literally been using this I do two passes so I do a spritz first and anywhere there's a lot of extra blunk Spritz a little extra. It has a bit of a bright scent. I mean, you can still smell the cleaner part of it, but this is amazing. This stuff, I'm telling you, it is so good. I bought a second bottle and I just reserved my third bottle. I will link it in the description box below. I love this stuff. Highly, highly recommend it. My mom even loves it. I let it sit for 20 minutes. I do a pat, one clean pass, and then I do some a little bit of spot cleaning. So I'm gonna do some other stuff while it's sit. So the time is now 12.45, I've been cleaning for about 20-ish minutes and so when now Nathaniel wants some food. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him some food, put him down for a nap and then I'm going to continue cleaning for another 20 minutes, well 15 to 20 minutes and see where that leads me. Yes. So here it is after about 20-ish minutes because I fed Nathaniel and now it's time to scrub. And I always took a microfiber cloth. That's with one simple pass. I am now going to spritz it again just on the heavier, dirty part. Let that sit for a few more minutes while I wash the girls. And then this, the rest of it should come out fairly easily. Second pass done. Look at that. So I had a little part here that I actually had to take the scrubber very gently just to kind of brush off the rest of the debris but when I do that what I do is I make sure that I do go with the grain so it doesn't scratch like I did here a long time ago when I first got the appliance. Now if you do notice some watermarks I'm not going to do this today because I'm not doing a deep deep clean but if you do notice some watermarks like this simply just get a little bit of white vinegar do a quick pass and it'll go away. Now to reassemble my, my stove. My workspace now looks significantly better. Still a lot of wire mess back there, but it's a lot better. It's a lot less cluttered. I got rid of a bunch of old paperwork, so that is good. That's how a table normally looks like. It is this beautiful solid wood table. We got it from Nelson's aunt who got it from her mom, so my father-in-law's mother, and they had brought this over from Hong Kong. So this is a multi-generation table along with the chairs. We did end up buying some, um, what are these called chair covers from Amazon because the floral print, it was it not only, it was a little, it is a little dated, mind you, see, but it, it's, it's a nice print. It's just dated, but also there's been some wear on it. And the fact that I have kids, this is just a little bit easier to clean up. Right now, our plan is for the table is to eventually refinish it so that we get close to this beautiful wood color again um, because as you can see it is quite worn down so we want to refinish it and then get a beautiful glass top but for now we gotta go back to the polka dots all right and that's that i love this 
my little succulent garden here with a minion. I just think it's so funny and quirky. It's very much my my type of personality. You know, teeny tiny, a little bit quirky, but always dream big. All right, um, I'm having trouble getting that one blind up, so I'm actually going to need Nelson to help me with that. It keeps sliding down every time I try to pull the, the little beady pulley system. But these blinds, I am absolutely in love with. We ordered them from Amazon. Everything was actually relatively painless after we had a little bit of issue with um, some, some things were a little bit lost in translation at the beginning. However, it turned out great now, so I am happy with it. I just need to fix that one. But as you can see, we also have it for our patio door, so I can pull it down like this. And this is, I think, is only like 75%, uh, sorry, 50% um, blocking the sun. Let me see that my windows desperately need a clean too, but I do really love them because we do work in the kitchen. So I want to make sure that I'm not blinded by the sun because my eyes have been really tired. But this area looks so much better now. Yay. Almost done. Let's finish up. And done. Well, kind of done, but the hour is done. So I did go a little bit longer. My gosh, my hair's not crazy. I did go a little bit longer because I did take the break in between feeding Nathaniel and then, you know how sometimes if you start a project and then stop it to get back into it, it takes a few minutes? Yeah, that kind of what happened. I kind of dilly-dallied for a few minutes before I really got back into it. So overall, the kitchen does look a lot better. Does it look better, Moy? Yeah, it's cleaner. The kitchen does look a lot better. It feels a lot better. I'm really happy with the stove. I actually even had to start getting some food ready. I have a little bit more over here to do to tidy up this area, but the dishwasher just finished. So Nelson's always in charge of the dishwasher, so he'll put those away. I need to put these two things of tea away. This area looks significantly better, as does my desk area. I need to put this guy away, but I was waiting for the blender top for this from the dishwasher. So over all at all, speed cleaning, yay. And I hope you enjoyed this little bit of cleaning time with me to keep me actually up and motivated and running. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any speed cleaning tips, please do let me know in the comments below because I need help. My house is a disaster and a mess and this is just one room. Um, so I need to do a lot more cleaning. But um, thanks once again for watching guys. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do let us know by giving us a big fat thumbs up. And until next time guys, I love you. See you in the next one. Bye.